Okay, so let's have a look at the fifth adjustment for the 2021 Soul Trader account A Kennedy. So this adjustment said buildings are to be depreciated at a rate of 2% on the cost per annum. So land that cost was 400,000. So we need to take away this 400,000 away from our cost of our buildings. And then it was decided to revalue the land and buildings at 1.1 million. So we need to find what is the increase in the value of our land and buildings and that goes into our revaluation reserve and with that then we also need to bring across our depreciation to date and this year's depreciation that we would have calculated in the first part of the question so let's find out how much are the value of our buildings so our buildings are nine hundred thousand coming from our trial balance and we need to reduce them then by 400,000 here from the question. So our, <clears throat> so our land and buildings then, so just to recap there, the 900,000 would have been adjusted when we have the previous adjustment for this stock room that was damaged and we built a new stock room. So we need to go back to that adjustment and find out what our land and buildings figure is. So in that adjustment, we would have got 907,000. So we're not taking the one from the question, we're taking the new adjusted one, which is 907,000. Our land is 400,000. So land doesn't depreciate. So we need to reduce our land and buildings by 400,000. So it is 507,000 is the value of our buildings. So it's this 507,000. We're multiplying that by 2%. And we can see already we're going to get 10,140. That's going to go into your expense and your profit and loss account as an administration. The second part of that question then was to revalue our land. So we revalued our land to 1.1 million. So we need to find out what is the increase. The increase. So our new value is 1.1 million. We're going to take away our old value, which is 907,000. And that's going to give us the increase in our land and buildings. So we're going to take them away from each other. So our revalued figure that goes into a revaluation reserve is 193,000. Then we need to find out how much depreciation we have to date at the start of the year. So our land and buildings cost is 900,000. The value of it is 795,000. So the difference between the two is our depreciation. So you need to find out how much that is. 900,000 take away 795. So our depreciation today is 105,000. And then we need to include this year's depreciation as well. And we're going to add these three up. That'll give us a figure for the revaluation reserve that goes into the finance by section of the balance sheet. So three figures then when we revalue something are with our depreciation. Part one, we need to calculate the depreciation on our buildings. So make sure we use the up to date figure for our buildings, take away our land, then we're going to get 2% of that figure. So we've got 10,140. That's going to go into your profit and loss account as an expense. Then we revalued our land and buildings so you need to find out what's the increase so the revalue figure was 193,000. the depreciation that we have up to the start of this date or the start of the year so we go back to our trial balance find out what is the cost take it away from the figure we have in the trial balance that will tell you how much depreciation we've paid already and then include your depreciation then for your buildings and that's part five i think it is of that adjustment from Murphy part five yeah